All right, so today we're going to talk about some special cases and some shortcuts. So these are things that you can use to um, solve some of these exponential equations um, when certain situations arise, but the way we've been doing them before will always work. So if you don't see these shortcuts, it doesn't mean you can't uh, solve these problems. It will take you, you know, a little bit longer based on the stuff we've learned before. So we're going to skip the warm-up for now. So basically what today boils down to is when we have an exponent on both sides. So in example A, we have 4 to the second power equals 4 to the 9x minus 4 power. Our bases are the same. They're both 4. If our bases are the same, that means our exponents are equal. So we can just go right to the equation 2 equals 9x minus 4. And again, that only works if our exponents are exactly equal. And then we can add 4 to both sides. 2 plus 4 is 6. And then when we divide both sides by 9, we get 2 thirds equals x if you reduce a fraction or 0.67 if you want to do that. Right, so letter B, our bases are both 5, so that means we can do x plus 3 equals 4x minus 9 and then solve. I'm going to subtract x from both sides and I'm going to add 9 to both sides. So we get 12 equals 3x and divide by 3, divide by 3, we get 4 is equal to x. And like I said before, you can always take um, the value of x and plug it in and see if you get the same thing on both sides. Now in letter C, you'll notice that your bases are not the same. So you can't just say 4x minus, or sorry, 4 minus x equals 2x. However, what you can do is say, well, I know 5 squared is 25. So you can rewrite this like this. So that's 5 squared to the 4 minus x power equals 5 to the third power is 625. So you can write this as 5 to the third to the 2x power. So we have an exponent with an exponent. You may remember this from Algebra 1, but if you have a power raised to a power, you multiply the power. So I'm going to multiply these. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times negative x is negative 2x. And then over here, 3 times 2x is 6x. So we add 2x to both sides. All right. When we add 2x to both sides, we get 8 equals 8x. And then when we divide both sides by 8, we get 1 equals x. So I know that it can be hard to see that 5 squared is 25 and 5 to the third power is 625. So that's why I really don't recommend using this strategy unless you have something like we have in A and B where it's clearly the same base. You know, if we look at letter D, all right, that one is a little bit more confusing, you're sitting there, okay, I don't know, how can I make 4 into a base and now 1 half into a base? So a problem like this, you probably would spend more time um, trying to find uh, the shortcut than you would if you just solve this normally. So the way I would recommend doing this is taking the log of both sides. What I mean by that is we're going to do log and we're going to use our calculator so it doesn't matter what base. 
So log 4x equals log 1 half of x minus 3. Okay, so now in my calculator, I'm just going to type in log 4. Actually, I'll show you. I'm going to type in log 4. And it's 0 0.60. So what happens is this is going to be 0.6 times x. So we're going to leave the x alone, but we typed in log 4 into the calculate calculator and got 0 0.6. And that equals, I'm going to type in log one half in the calculator. And you got negative point three zero or negative point three. So that will be negative point three times x minus three, our whole exponent. So you see the whole exponent went down here. Then we need to simplify this. Distribute 0.6x equals negative 0.3x minus, or sorry, plus. We need to do uh, negative 0.3 times negative 3. So I'm doing that on my calculator. Negative 0.3 times negative 3, and I get 0.9. Then I'm going to add 0.3x to both sides. So that will give me 0.9x equals 0.9, and we divide both sides by 0.9 x equals 1. So this way required a little bit more work than over here, but if you didn't know the shortcut for letter D, um, you still would have gotten the correct answer. So I'm going to solve them more like, um, like this problem, just because it will always work. Actually, for letter E, because we don't have an exponent on each side, we can just convert this to a log. I think that would be easier. So log, our base is 32. Our exponent is x minus 6. Well, 64 goes here. So we can type in the left side into the calculator using that change of base formula. So log 64, make sure you close the parentheses, divided by log 32. That gives us 1.2 equals x minus 6. Then add 6 to both sides. We get 6.2 equals x is our answer. I'm sorry, this that's that's 7.2. All right, on to the next page. Okay, now here, the two bases are not the same, so I would recommend taking the log of both sides. So log two to 3x equals log 4 to the x plus 1. So again, in my calculator, I'm going to type in log 2, and that's 0 0.30. So 0.3 times 3x, you know, the exponent just comes down, equals log 4, we 
we get 0 0.60. You don't need that 0. It's 0.6 times x plus 1. 0.3 times 3 is 0.9x equals, we have to distribute this 0.6 you get 0.6x plus 0.6 minus 0.6x minus 0.6x so then we get 0.3x equals 0.6 so yes it is a little bit annoying having all of these decimals but I just feel the alternative is so much worse Divide both sides by 0.3, and we get x equals 2. Okay. Now, letter G. Let's take the log of both sides. So log 9 to the x minus 6 equals log 27 x plus 3. So in the calculator, and I'm doing this off screen now, log 9 is 0 0.95. So 0 0.95 times x minus 6 equals log 27. That's 1.43 times x plus 3. So then we can distribute and say 0.95x minus 0.95 times negative 6 is negative 5.7 is equal to, distribute this, 1.43x plus so 1.43 times 3 is 4.29 and then we'll solve this. I'm going to add 5.7 to both sides and subtract 1.43x. So 0.95 minus 1.43 negative point four eight x equals four point two nine plus five point seven is nine point nine nine and then divide both sides by point four eight Sorry, divide it by, by negative 0.48. And then x equals 20.81. I forgot negative, because positive by negative, negative 20.8. Alright. So, just like what we dealt with. Um, up above, if the with exponents, if logs have the exact same base, base seven, base seven, we can just set the inside stuff equal to each other. So six x minus sixteen equals x minus one, and then we can solve that. So plus sixteen, plus sixteen minus x, minus x, so 5x will equal 15, x will equal 3. Okay, so remember ln is log base e, so since these are both 
ln's or log base e's, we can just set them equal to each other. So 7x minus 13 equals 2x plus 17. And you can only do this if um, the logs have the exact same base. So if one was ln and the other one is log base 10, that wouldn't work. There would be no way f for us to solve that at this point. Alright, so minus 2x, minus 2x, plus 13, plus 13, 5x equals 30, divide both sides by 5, x equals 6. And then the last one that we'll do is this one we have the bases of 5, so that means negative x will equal x squared minus 6. So then we need to add x to both sides because this is a quadratic. 0 equals x squared plus x minus 6. Now it's a quadratic, that means we got a factor. Two numbers that multiply to negative 6 but add to 1. That's negative 3 and positive 2. I'm no, sorry, I got those mixed up. Positive 3 and negative 2. So our factors will be x my, uh, plus 3 and x minus 2. So then our solutions will be x equals negative 3 and x equals positive 2. However, if we plug in positive 2 right here, that's going to give us a negative log on the left. So that solution does not work. So x equals negative 3 is the only solution. Because if you plug that in up here, negative negative 3 is positive 3. Negative 3 squared is positive 9, minus 6 is positive 3. So um, make sure you plug those back in. Um, I know that this lesson um, is probably a little bit confusing, I, I get it, um, but the, the bulk of this lesson was if your bases are the same when it comes to exponents, you can set the exponents equal to each other. If the bases are same with the logs, you can set the inside of the logs to, uh, uh, equal to each other. This is where it got a little bit confusing because you're with taking the log with uh, of both sides and then having all these decimals. Again, don't think that decimals are necessarily a sign that you're doing something wrong. You know, in this, in this one over here, we had decimals all over the place and we got two. I think it's easier to do it that way. However, if you can use the shortcut uh, like I did up here in letter C, that's fine too. It doesn't matter. So try your homework. Uh, we're going to go over questions tomorrow. We'll review tomorrow. Um, and we'll make sure you're ready for your test. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.